Hi there, this is Ashley with Point Through Real Estate and the Urban Ash team. Just wanted to provide you guys with another update as to what our real estate market has been doing over the course of the past two weeks. But first and foremost, I just hope that everyone is staying healthy, staying home um, when able. And again, thank you very much to those first responders who are out there on the front lines um, helping us get through this. So this past week, there were a couple major changes to the original stay at home order. Uh, first being Governor Inslee extended the time period to May 4th, which is great because we all have something to look forward to now. Real estate services are still deemed essential, so we could still meet with our buyer clients and show them property. We could still meet with our seller clients and help them list their home. Um, but also photographers are now deemed essential, so we could have professional photography um, and staging. So we could have our stagers stage and destage. A couple great areas, I guess, is with cosmetic um, contract work. Um, upgrading of carpets and painting and overall remodels. And we're still not able to do open houses. So um, with regards to open houses, we have been getting creative with doing virtual opens on many social media outlets. That seemed to have been working really well for us. So those are the updates as far as the stay at home order. And looking at the numbers for area 701, which is uh, an area agents know as is Belltown, Downtown, part of South Lake Union and Pioneer Square. The numbers are great. You know, we have 135 total condominiums um, currently active. In the last 10 days, eight have went pending. We've had 13 condo sales, 11 new listings, and then 10 have been taken off the market. And whether or not that's temporary off market, expired or um, canceled, still 10. So it seems like there's been a lot more movement uh, this week. I know on our listings, we've had a lot of um, activity for first FaceTime calls um, to guide them through the home first. And then we've made secondary arrangements for showings too. So overall, it feels like the market's very healthy. So as for the single family homes and townhomes in the surrounding urban neighborhoods, um, you know, the market's been just as crazy. A lot of buyers are out there taking advantage of the circumstances and um, seeing property with their agents. Uh, homes are a lot easier uh, to show. Condos have, you know, the rules and regulations and, and whatnot, especially with um, the safety precautions now. Um, so buyers are out and about and they are um, putting offers and securing property. I think what we probably will see is a build of inventory right in that uh, May, June timeframe. A lot of homeowners have deferred uh, listing for condos and homes um, from the late, you know, March timeframe through April. Um, so that will be coupled with everyone and all homeowners that were wanting to list originally um, in that May, June timeframe, which is our busiest um, time of the year. So we'll see a flux of inventory uh, coming up here in the May, June timeframe. Buyers may then see some relaxed terms. So they might, might be able to, to enter in a buying environment where there won't be actually multiple offers and escalating terms and whatnot. So that could be a good thing. Um, but we'll stay on top of it. The Northwest MLS did come out with their 2020 March stats. So we have those to share as well. And then of course, we'll be in touch with, with more news as we progress through the month and into May. So that wraps up our update for this week. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If there's anything that we can do to help support you during this time, we're more than happy to just ask. Um, we are here to offer our advice and expertise and we all hope that you are doing well. Um, take care of yourself and your loved ones and we will see you soon.